Hi guys, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Now, in the last episode, we did get a sponsor offer from Silana. That's 12 races, £2.8 million up front. I took it. Financially, it's not a fantastic deal. The only other two offers that were there uh, required us to re like achieve six or above to get our money. And I couldn't guarantee six or above, really. So I had to take Solana. Um, I think it does make us safe financially, especially once the prize money comes in. Um, we do have four-star sponsorship appeal level now. And the reason for that is, if we go over to Dominic Bauman, he's currently a fun runner. Now, that only lasts 16 weeks. But if we go back to our sponsors, we've got Givenchy and Telmex, both expiring in one race time. Now, Givenchy, we're only getting a maximum of three star. So basically, if you've not seen the showcase, um, what Chris and Falco did was that slot one, you can have a maximum, you can only have a maximum of one five star sponsor. And that goes into slot one. You're only allowed a maximum of one four star sponsor, and that goes into slots two. The others are all maximum of slot three. It's basically to make sure the financials aren't massively overpowered. Plus, let's face it, if you're watching motorsport, you'll see that there's one major sponsor and then probably like a second slightly bigger one and all the other ones are tiny, you know, all over the fucking show. So yeah, that's that. So hopefully we can get ourselves a four-star sponsor to replace Telmex. Um, and then a decent three-star to replace Givenchy. Now, Red Bull obviously ends seven races time. Hopefully we'll get something to replace that. That's really nice and big. All the others are quite a way off. Um, but other than Solana and Givenchy, all of ours are free star at the minute. So, you know, we're doing okay. Um, if we go to the previous race, that was in Tondela, we had a pretty dismal uh, turnout, 13th and 19th. Um, yeah, I wasn't overly happy. You may have seen I was a little bit fucking frustrated by that, but yeah. We've got Munich today. It's going to be sunny all day long, apparently. It's going to be sunny all weekend, but the tyre wear is very low. Fantastic news for myself. 49 laps. So, yeah, top speed is useful. Deceleration and medium speed corners are both crucial. I just want to point something out here. So, our car is apparently ninth fastest. We're very, very close to eighth fastest here. Um, we are obviously bottom for everything else. Now... Our new, very, very illegal parts. They're not going to be used in this race. I just wanted to show you. So next season, we should have a very fucking good car. Well, we'll have a very fucking good engine. Not necessarily a very fucking good car, but a very fucking good engine. Which is... Better than I can ask for, you know. Um... Obviously, we're not going to use those because there's a very fucking good chance we're going to get ruined if we do. Uh, all of our parts, apart from the ones we're not going to be using, are up to maximum level. In fact, we may just do that. Um, we may just do this just to give the guys something to do. Um, but yeah, we do have Munich now. Anything else I was going to mention? Uh, I've got some scouting going on. I've got Maximilian Guts here. Not really my cup of tea. Um, Maxime Matan. Um, looked at him, but his marketability is too low for my liking. The other thing I was thinking about was maybe Nelson Piquet Jr. Now, his stats are shit. Um, partly because he's had an exposed affair. Marketability is okay, but it's this. Training young drivers. I don't know if that will affect... Because there's two different things. There's mentor and there's training young drivers. So, I don't know. I've um, got a few more people getting scoured. Uh, one of my classic drivers, Max Deforni. Uh, I say classic. We well, used him for a long time in the ice mod. Uh, a hell of a long time. Um, outside of that, there's not really anything else we're looking at scouting-wise. It's still a massive backlog. And I mean, it's a fucking massive backlog. Um, we can only do four at a time. We need to <laughs> we need to be able to do six, but it's financial sort of ruin if we were to do that now. Look at the new buildings. I mean, yeah, I mean, forecasting center is one of my 
sort of priorities. But I need to get these both upgraded, especially the factory. The design center is definitely needed, um, needing an upgrade. Um, as is the scouting facility. It's just, it's just so much money we need to spend. Um, and we just don't have that kind of cash. I think what's going to end up happening is once we... If we manage to get first place in the championship at any point, we're going to um, not go for promotion straight away. We're going to spend a season. We're going to try and build up, build up the, the headquarters. We're going to try and build up the car. And then we'll look at going forward into promotion. Just need to get to a decent level before we do that. All right. Let's get this last race underway. Last race of the season. Next season we do have the extra race coming in. I think it's Singapore. Um, that got voted in. So it should be a little bit different next season. We'll take the super softs. It was 49 laps, wasn't it? It's a shame. <laughs> We're not, never going to do a no-stopper, are we? We're never going to do a no-stopper. Um, not until we can get someone with better smoothness and better a car with better tyre wear. Um, I am going to do a no-stopper at some point in this series, just because I want to. I just, I just think it's it's needed at some point. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, good to go. Let's take the practice. Send you out. On the race trim, lovely, you're there already. Just a bit more fuel and you're good. I send you out too. Lovely, you're there too. Race trim, oh, super. All right, it's overtake attack, uh, overtake attack. Bang it out. So, next season's car, next season's car. It's not going to be a vote for next season. But there will be a vote for. Will there be a vote the following season? I don't know. I've been talking to Chris, and he's got some new car models coming out. Um, and I don't want to give too much away, so I'm going to decide what next uh, next year's car is, and then we'll look at the following season. Um, <laughs> I've I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do with cars. And I'm, I appreciate the interaction um, from you guys when it comes to this stuff. In fact, I think the way we voted on it was fantastic. But I need to... There's a particular car I want to use. So... I won't say why. I'm not going to say what car it is. You can, you're going to have to wait till next week, unfortunately, to see that. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Right. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's get these guys out. So yeah. So next season's car is going to be another custom model, of course, because it's the fire mod. We need to use the custom models. But I'm deciding what car it is. <laughs> I didn't even want to use the Mercedes AMG. <laughs> it's just it was there as an option. Um. Right. Now we're doing race knowledge wise. Nearly at level three. We need to bring these guys in. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any uh, qualifying trim in. We're looking better here, though. 95%. So this wants to go a little bit longer. That can't really go any further away unless we do that. And then that just puts it back. Um, We'll try that out. Concentration on his face. Uh, excellent, excellent, good. Not good enough. 95%. Let's 
these are bang on. So that wants to go a little bit further away to there. I don't want to change that too much. Let's try that out. All right. Off we go. Pull your finger out. Get this fucking car sorted out. Thank you very much. Smash this out. As long as we can get level 3 on both of these, I'm not too fussed. And, yeah, there we go. Level 3 on both of those. Get these cars in real quick. Schumacher. Excellent, excellent. Good. I'm not going to worry about changing anything else. I need to get this into a better position. Um... Wait, wait, that went down. Let's try that way then. As long as he's out on the road, we're good. Excellent, excellent, good. Right. May need to do a bit more work with Bauman. Um, possibly Schumacher too. No Suzy Perry, fuck. Right. I would like her to be here for the last race of the season. I want to show her how good we are. All right, weight stripping. Um, let's go 80 for everything fuck it 80 for everything apply to the cards 300 performance gained uh, car set up 93% do we need to go shorter here that's what we're saying um We'll try that. We'll do one lap like so from the off. Likewise, 95. That was basically back where it was. So we need to go a little bit shorter. We'll do the same again here. Um, bonuses. Super soft, sweet spots. Super soft. And yeah, might as well. All right. Let's get this qualifying underway. State qualifying. Send them out. Boom. Send you out. But boom. So we want to get these guys set up on auto. And bring them both in. Just to see if we can get that set up spot on. All right. 97%. We'll take the 97%. Dominic Bauman, 97%. Not Dells. Munich. Cancel that. You, 98%. Right, okay. Mick Schumacher, 98% Munich. Lovely stuff. Alright, so we're going to hold these guys off for a bit. Keep an eye on this weather a little way. We're 140, so we need at least two minutes really to get around the track. Um, I'll send you out now. Let's get these tyres on. Alright, there we go. So, should be around here in time to do one lap. How well can we do, though? 17th and 18th, not bad, not bad at all. Um, I'm happy with that. It's one of the better performances we've had. <laughs> it's not brilliant. <laughs> it's not brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's one of the better performances we've had. What, not last? Yeah. <laughs> oh, where are you, Suze? Where are you, Suze? Why, why do this to me, girl? You're teasing me. You're teasing me. All right. So, super soft race trim, of course. Don't need pit stop guru refueling. Might take it next season. Because um, refueling comes in next season. So, 49 laps. 25 to 27. We could probably do a one-stopper on these. Um, not going to do anything with that. <laughs> right. Um, 23 to 25. Could potentially do it. But I can't see it happening. But we'll do it. We'll give it a go. Um, driver strategy. Attack, overtake, attack, overtake. 
Wunderbar. Right. Ekstrom Assenheimer. Uh, Inachin, Renauer, and Van der Linde. Top five. Assenheimer is normally sort of around the same level as us. Like around about here. Okay. So, Bauman. I was about to say off to a good start. Not, to, not off to a terrible start. Gains a couple of positions. Uh, Schumacher gained one, but I think it's going to fall away pretty soon. Um, Schumacher's making it, making the most of a good situation here. I think we could probably... Yeah, yeah, we're doing alright, we're doing alright, 5%. Alright. Medium neutral, uh, medium neutral. So bowing up into 11th. In fact, I think we might actually keep him attacking and overtaking, try to gain him a couple of positions, get him near the points. So he's not far off. Schumacher in 15th, doing it okay. We need some points, damn it. They're up into 10th, which is the points positions. Can we get ahead of Ekstrom? I'd be very surprised if we do. Full back to 12th, Schumacher in 15th. Uh, we're going to get him to conserve a little bit. Uh, as it stands, even with Oust in with plus 18, we're ahead. So that's good. Not double points for the last race of the season here. Um, so we're fine. All right, Spengler. You're trying to overtake Spengler, are you? You managed it, so that's good. I think Spengler's going to take it back. But... All right, Schumacher, 15. Let's go to Schumacher. Um, he's all right. Bauman knows where we need to be. Bauman's just taken 11th back. If we can... He did briefly take 11th back anyway. Let's push and get round. Lovely. Come on. Come on. Get, him cl get in close. Get in close. I mean, how many points behind are we? Too far for it to. I mean, if we can get, if we can get first, we'd be alright. But we're not going to get first place. Um, we may have been able to gain another position, but it's not likely to happen. We need Schumacher to push a little bit harder on his tyres. He's up in the fourteenth. Bauman's just dropped down to eleventh. Let's go over to Schumacher. Um, Schumacher's actually having, for him anyway, a decent race. Uh, Bauman has just dropped down enough position. Let's get him to push again. So, head over to Schumacher, who's got Assenheimer on his tail. Assenheimer was second at the start of the race, don't forget. He's gone off a long way. Um, you need to stop letting people pass you, Bauman. You need to stop letting people pass you. All right? Need to do need to do better than this, especially if you want to keep your job. Both drivers need to be doing better than this if they want to keep their jobs. Um, rain looks like it's not going to be happening at all, which is what we thought would be the case. Um, we can go a little bit harder, I think, on these tyres. Not much harder. All right. Neutral. 41 laps remaining with you 65% on these tyres. We're going to say neutral on these tyres now for both drivers. Um, we need to see out what we can. Uh, we can go down to 15%, is it? Let's have a look. Uh, 15%. <laughs> I knew that off the top of my head. 15% on the tyres before they start losing um, speed rapidly. So we've got a little way to go. So let's count this down. That's 1%. Two percent. Three. Four. So you're losing about four and a half percent a lap. Um. Hmm. So every two laps is 9%. Four, six. 
might be able to get eight more laps out on his tires at most. Um, thing is, this tire temperature is going down all the time. I need to get this back up. That's the, that's the issue we've got as well. I need to get this tire temperature back up. Um, we're the only people pushing hard though. In neutral again. Uh, we can get Schumacher. He's dropped a few positions. We can get him to go higher on his fuel consumption for a bit. Uh, Bowman in 12 still. Yeah, I know they are, mate. We need to push on these tyres. I sort of think it's detrimental to us if we don't. Um, we'll probably end up seeing the rest of the race out on softs for both drivers. But I can deal with that. It's fine. Uh, medium, please, mate. Now. Right, okay. Do what you can to get past Nordhagen. Or Nordhagen, Nordhagen, Nordhagen. I don't know how you'd pronounce the name, really. Right. Stay push, actually, because the tyres are cold. You're about to lose out that position again if you're not careful. Uh, Pagano's not far ahead of you. Anything else happening in the midfield? Not really. Uh, Renau's leading. Hassa second. Denichen third. Ekstrom fourth. Vandalinda fifth. Um, we're doing the worst on our tyre wear but I, um, I, need, I need to look into how to manage this tyre wear I really do because at the minute I haven't got a fucking Scooby right go attack get that tyre temperature back up alright this tyre temperature is coming up nicely right. push again so do we need to, we need to keep pushing. We need to get tire temperature a little bit warmer. Track grip. It's going to plateau a little bit there. Is that a pre precursor for rain? Maybe. It's hoping. <laughs> I would take I would take rain all day long. I'll be happy with some rain all day long. Um. Need to get you to go medium. Your fuel's just about starting to get back to where it should be. Bowman's just crashed. Bowman's just crashed. You fucker. All right. All right, it's all on you, Schumacher. Bowman, mate. Fuck me. To be fair, it's our first crash of the season. I want to say. Um, we'll take those. First crash of the season. Um... Ah, no! How come there's no safety car in that one? How come there's no safety car in that one? Everyone else gets a safety car when it, it helps them. Our driver crashes when we need help. Fuck all! Fucking bullshit, man! All right. That's utter fucking bullshit. <sighs> right, Schumacher, mate. It's all in you, buddy. No pressure. Alright, let's get this sped up then. <sighs> we know he can't do it. That's the thing, we know he can't do it. He's barely able to get 19th from fucking Geipel. And he's so far behind, Marshall. Fuck me, this race is over. Sorry about this, guys. Not a lot I can do. Bowman decided he wanted to fuck himself up the bum and then fuck us up the bum. So, I mean, <laughs> there's not a lot I can do with that. All right, let's get pushing on these tyres. Do what we can to catch up. Uh, we're not far behind Girolami, but Girolami has got faster tyres. So we're not really gaining anything on him. Um... What we got going on up here? A couple of drivers in the pit. We managed to gain another position, but they're on super soft as well. Uh, you can't get past Girolami. Another crash there. A Schmidt. That's not bad. That's good for us. Uh, fast slap from Ekstrom. Alright, who's that? Is that Ashenheimer in front of us? He started off in second. How the fuck have you fallen so far back? Alright. Attack. 
When we attack, 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 attack. Set them for down. Why that's in my head, I do not know. Alright, let's push. Go medium. Let's keep attacking on these tyres. Try to get some heat into them. Make them warmer. Push. 57%. We can go down to 10% on these, don't forget. How are we doing condition-wise? Doing good. Um, I am so fucked off, because this, this race means nothing now. Because Schumacher's not going to be able to get anything. I mean, you could turn around and go, Well, kick man, why don't you reload you know, the race? That's not how I play. I don't play like that. That's not my style. I don't I don't redo things. If, if this is, What you see is how I'm playing things live. You know that by now. I don't do fucking around. I don't even bother editing my videos because I want you to see it for what it is. You know? Alright. Let's do what we can, I guess. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to see out this race on these tyres. Yeah, attack a bit more, mate. You're going to have to. Six laps to go. 32%. 31. 30. 29. 28. 27. Doing about 3%. Might be able to see it out. Going to have to. Fuck it. I mean, what's the point in... What's the point in not seeing it out, you know? It's just like... Two laps to go. 14th place. I mean, it's not bad for Schumacher. He's going to lose all time in a minute, though. Down to 16%. All right, final lap. Let's go medium. Might as well attack on these tyres to see it out. 14th place, and Bauman's a cunt. What a fucking dire finish to the season. Absolutely fucking dire. Bowman drops down a ninth in the standings. Schumacher stays in 19th on zero points. We have finished seventh in the championship standing, so 23 points ahead of Oust. Um, and 24 points behind HT. Uh, we do there's no Susie Perry to cheer me up um, we do exceed our championship target of 8th place so that is a bonus my only concern is has that fucked our marketability are we still going to get potentially a 4 star sponsor that's my real big concern at the minute I need a 4 star sponsor who's chucking big money at us um Trait, dodgy neck. Oh, that's not going to affect us because it's going to be a little while till we race. Our marketability has gone down marginally. Happiness has gone down quite a bit. We came ninth overall. Uh, you've unlocked the sweet spot. Lovely stuff. And we gained 417 grand there. We gained fuck all there. Um, why the big drop? Well, we don't have the sponsorship giving us money every race. And we didn't finish last. So, massive drop. Um... RBM have won the championship, not surprising. Um, Ekstrom winning the Drivers' Championship, and obviously them winning the Team Championship overall. Uh, they were the team that came down from ADAC in the previous season. ADAC or DTM? DTM, sorry. We're in the ADAC. They came down from the DTM. So they've gone back up, which is not surprising. I'm wondering if the old teams come back down. Anyway, contracts running down. All right, we'll sort those out in a minute. Um, interview with ESPN. Let's accept the interview. Bowman's crash. Um, that. <laughs> Neck issues. Give a fuck. Contracts running down. Got it. Let's go to staff. 
one month, one month, one month. I don't want to give him that much money. I want to see. His current cost per race is to... Alright, okay. So we don't need to give him a signing on fee, which is fantastic. I want to see if we can get him for less per race than we were paying him. So his existing contract is 281. 247. Let's try that out. Renew contract. Start negotiations. Now, your current is 101. Let's try him on 85. And then your 96. Let's try 85 again as well. Give him big bonuses. I don't mind giving him big bonuses if we finish first. How about that? See what he feels about that. New scouting report. Miguel Molina. No good to me. Now, car repair is complete. We need responsorship offers. We do remain four star. Now. Fucking exact speed. Our prize money, 8.244 million. So that gives us 18 million plus the 9 million, is it? Next year's car, 9 million. So we've got 27 million to work with. So financially, we're kind of set there. Um, our previous car cost 25.6. So we're okay. We're okay going forward. Um, not that it really matters. I'm going to go ahead and fit these parts now. Keep his happiness up. Uh, let's have another look at this now. Third. Okay, so someone, either Team RBM or GRT, uh, managed to build another engine for the end of the season. Uh, do get some sponsorship offers coming in. So, Singapore is in next season, and so is refueling using 80k tanks. Uh, team RBM, Team Schnitzer has been relegated in. So, whoever got promoted didn't get relegated. Team Schnitzer did get relegated. Uh, we've got three offers in slot one. Let's take a look. That's not very good. I mean, it's a lot of money up front. It's not very good. That is finan That's financially a better deal than that. That's basically one million pound a race. I'll take that. I know we're losing money per race, but I will take that. What's our current offer over here? 299. Uh, we'll wait a little bit, see two more offers coming in. I mean, I wouldn't mind driving around with coffee on my car, but... Um, right, we're going to use a little bit of this money to... Build a staff centre. And then, uh, and then, um, do we tele center or forecasting center? Tele forecasting. We'll take forecasting center, I guess. No, we need to upgrade design center. See how silly. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I want, I want to do this. I really want to do that. Uh, we'll just take the staff center for now. We've got some more sponsors coming in here. Uh, 353 per race. Yeah, it's got to be that one. I mean, best deal. Um, so financially, we're going to be losing money per race. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um... So we've got to take into account with nine races we'll be losing two hundred and eleven grand, which is say two million. We'll say two million. Um see what these contract proposals are like, shall we? Are they happy? Yay, we're gonna make I mean we're gonna save some money there, so that's a bonus. Um Mike Conway. All right, okay. <laughs> right, how about the other two? Oh, starting a new season. Pre-season. 
Priest, uh, we, we've got to end the episode now. We don't know if we've got our cheaper um, mechanics because <laughs> I've got to end the episode. Um, I can't show you any of preseason yet. What? I can't do that. Right. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode. Unfortunately, it was a dismal finish to the season. Um, do you think we should chuck money at the HQ? And if we do chuck money at the HQ, where shall we chuck it? Um, we'll have a quick look gander again. Do we go with a new forecasting center? Do we try to make a telemetry center? Do we upgrade our design center? Do we upgrade our factory? I mean, do we, do we get a scouting facility upgrade? I don't know. Um, should we go for the test track? Just let me know. Um, that is your task for the comments today. Uh, of course, if you did like today's video, go ahead and please give it a big thumbs up. Smash the like button, as some YouTubers say. And of course, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'll put in the link below again. Um, have a look at the Discord channel. You might find some people there you might want to chat to. Uh, you'll be able to chat to me um, a bit more directly than you would through, through YouTube. Um, I will get involved in the voice chat at some point, and also I'm looking at sort of looking forward. Uh, I may get FIFA 18. Um, I may end up picking up. Um, I'm definitely getting Destiny 2. Definitely get Football Manager. May pick up FIFA 18. May obviously with Destiny 2. If anyone else watching this wants to get involved, we can actually set up a clan as such. And you can play with me, we'll stream it on Twitch, export it to YouTube, and you'll be able to get involved and chat with me. Same with FIFA. What we'll do, if you want, what we can do, is set it up so that anyone who gets involved in the Discord um, chat, we will pull our name out of the hat, and like once or twice a week, we'll have an online match against each other, and then that will go onto YouTube as well. So you get to chat to me, we get a bit of interaction, put it on YouTube, you know, uh, if you've got a channel yourself as well, let me know. Let me know. We'll have a, an online match on FIFA. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just chat shit basically, like I normally do. Um, so yeah, that'll be in the comments down down. Well, it'll be in the video description, should I say? But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I'm going to play around with the new car, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye bye.